road she traveled. And our women who made a difference. A Kula Kids gift to our community. Beth Vasek, as portrayed by Cody. Those dirt roads, crumbled buildings, and all the families that have nowhere to go. It was a very scary time for not only me, but for everyone. You don't know what's going to happen next. I was stationed in Baghdad for most of my active duty, and I was glad because compared to other places, this was like a palace. After September 11th, I felt I had to be accounted for, so I went to the National Guard, and before I knew it, I was in Iraq. My job over there was to train the Iraqi police, and believe me, it was no easy task. In a way, I was scared because of all the things going on. I felt a lot of emotion over there, disappointed, abused, and disgusted. Some words couldn't even describe how I felt, and I'm still feeling today. Some people change when they go through things like these, and I am going to say that I am one that did. I feel a lot different now that I was over there. I'm now much more appreciative on how good our lives are in the United States and how are we so lucky to be living the way we are today. Being in Iraq was nerve-wracking because you didn't know what to expect or what could happen. My role was to teach Iraqis how to interrogate, investigate, detain people, including the ethics. It was difficult but very compelling to know that other people are going to use what you teach them. Teaching is one of the things I love. I find it very appealing to teach things to other people that they might be able to use later on in their life. Helping the people was very interesting in some of the areas of training and sometimes it wasn't. But it was a challenge and challenges have always been attached to me in a way. Even though I like challenges, that doesn't mean I can't get scared. It was closer to when I was about to come home to the US when a roadside bomb hit the side of our Humvee and flipped it completely over. Well, having been in that car when it was flipped over was one of the most nerve-wracking moments I've ever experienced before. My heart felt like it came to a sudden stop, and everything went so fast that the next thing I knew, we were on our side. But I'm very blessed that nothing happened to me or I probably wouldn't be here today. Being honored for being in the war is one of the greatest things that can ever happen to a person. Putting your life on the line every day for about a year, well, let's just say you get used to it. The war has been one of the greatest accomplishments I have ever had in my life. Sometimes it was hard and sometimes it was amazing. I love my country and all the people even more because of my experience. This podcast brought to you from La Crosse, Wisconsin by the Cooley Kids at Longfellow Middle School in conjunction with the League of Women Voters.